Hi there! Are you ready for the new workflow we have prepared for you? Let's go now through the building one together. The ability to extract cross-sections has been improved in the latest Reconstructor 4.2 release by the new tool section from Plane. This new tool increases your productivity and enables to extract cross-sections both from mesh and any kind of point cloud, structured and unstructured. Another great tool is the inspection that runs comparison between point clouds and CAD models. As you already know, Reconstructor enables to import CAD models as meshes from third-party software. The inspection result can be then displayed both in 3D and 2D. You can in fact create orthophoto using the inspection colorization and the newest depth grid tools enables to add a high spot map from your data. Do you need finally to complete your job in CAD environment? Don't worry, you can easily and quickly import uh, all the previous results in CAD. So, ready to go? Let's start from an already pre-registered ng-reference point cloud. Here we have a RGB point cloud of a building acquired by our Aeron Portable Mobile Mapping System. Let's start to extract cross-sections from a plane. Select the CAD Output tool from the toolbox bar and then cross-section tools in the toolbar. At first, to create a section, you need a plane. So, how to create it? Select Create Edit Plane button. As you see, just follow the buttons as they are suggested, it's very easy. It is possible to create any kind of planes we want into the 3D view in different ways, by using points, by using the extraction of surfaces, by using segments, by using free points. As you can see in the project window, we already have created several planes. We will then select the one we want to use to extract the cross-sections. Now, go back to the cross-sections tool and select the sections from plane option. Clicking here in the recipe window, you can create a new section survey that you can rename as you like. Then, move on selecting the plane you want to use to extract the sections. For example, let's use the one named Vertical Play Building. You can change the plane dimensions as well as decide to extract automatically a single cross sections or more. Remind that it is possible to extract sections only from loaded and visible point cloud or meshes in 3D view. If you want to extract multiple sections, flag the option Repeat Sections. You can then set the number of sections you desire, like 50, and then the extraction distance, like 1 meter. There's no limit in this setting. To save time now, we can extract 4 sections with a distance of 5 meter. Let's go through the news of the Reconstructor 4.2 release. Section can be also extracted automatically as point cloud slices. So, for each cross-section, we can extract not only the polyline, but also the slice of the cloud that then can be exported to third-party software, for example, like Revit. We can, of course, set the depth of these cut slices and we can easily visualize them using the section view tool. At the end, when we have checked the correct section's orientation and the current view, we can click Compute. And here we go, the cross-sections have been created. But that's not all. When you extract now a section in Reconstructor 4.2 release, the result is a group of items where you can find, as we already said, polylines and point cloud slices, plus the orthophoto of the section view. Later we will learn how to export these sections. Now let's quickly see the result in the Reconstructor section viewer. We have the polyline, the slice of point in grey, and the corresponding orthophoto in white background. In the orthophoto viewer, you can find several functions, like taking measurements or computing areas, for example. In the setting options, you can change several parameters, like background color, dimension size, and unit of measures. From the orthophoto viewer, we can export orthophotos in different ways, as a simple image file, as image with its own script file to enter directly into AutoCAD, or we can publish it for the Go Blueprint viewer, our 2D free viewer. Going back to the Reconstructor main interface, in the results main group that you can find in the project window, the section survey created before is composed by three subgroups. 
you have the polylines in green, the cloud slices and the orthophoto. Looks great, isn't it? How can we now export all these objects? It's very fast and simple. Just right-click on a single item or multiple items in the corresponding group and then select Export. You can also export the objects in one single step. Click on the main group of items, right mouse button and export the section survey. We can export the orthophotos as images or as orthophotos that can be imported directly in AutoCAD with a script, file, maintaining scale and orientation. This is warmly appreciated as you do not need any more to import the image as a raster and then spending time in scaling, positioning, etc. Just drag the script file into AutoCAD software and your orthophotos will be in the right position, properly oriented and scaled. Cross-section polylines are exported in DXF. We can decide to export each single cross-section or group the cross-section. The new reconstructor also supports a shape file export. The polylines can be exported in a single SHP file. And what about the point cloud slices? They can be exported in E57 and LAS. Now, do you remember that we talked about the inspection tool? Let's see how easy is comparing a beam model and an as built one. To run a model's comparison, we need a meshes reference, in this case the beam model, and a point cloud to be inspected the as-built one. Remind that the inspection can be run with any kind of 3D models, but the reference one has to be a mesh, the investigated one a point cloud. Don't forget that the reference model can be a single mesh or more meshes. We have already seen how to import cloud in Reconstructor, so let me quickly remind how to import a mesh. Use the import mesh button where you have several format options, including the IFC one. You can choose if you want to import all the items grouped in a single mesh or only specific entities. For example, if you want to keep only beams and columns, just flag them. After importing, you will display a model like this. I don't want to waste your time importing the data. So just consider that in this project, mesh and cloud have been already registered in your reference. But what happens if the mesh and the cloud are not yet registered? Don't worry, using the registration functions that you can find in the lineup, you can register the two different models. Please note that Reconstructor has the great ability to register clouds together, but also mesh and clouds together. Let's enter now in details on how to compare the models. Select the point cloud and the mesh you want to inspect. If you select an item in the project window, like the point cloud, and then you run the inspection tool, the point cloud will automatically be loaded in the model to inspect. Drag now from the project window to the inspection recipe window the mesh reference model. You can set the inspection parameters as your convenience. For example, change the maximum searching distance and uh, let me set here 20 cm and change, it, and change also the name of the inspection. Then press compute to start the comparison. After computing, all the points of the cloud are displayed by a new color layer. Remind that a point cloud can be visualized in different layers of colors in the reconstructor. The inspection colorization represents the quantitative view of the distances between the points of the inspected cloud and the reference model. The result is also displayed in an histogram that shows the statistic of these distances. If you want to change the color visualization, click on Color Mapping option. Our Reconstructor current user can notice that the recipe window has been restyled. Our new users will find this tool very interesting. You can play with the different parameters to change an existing color layer, like streams, threshold, boundaries of an inspection, or you can create a complete new color layer. That's nice, but how to deliver and organize a report of the analysis just done? Click Save Report to export a customizable PDF that includes the data of the computation, all the statistics, including the histogram and also a screenshot of the view that we want to combine with the colorization legend. The points colorization obtained by the inspection is visualized in 3D on the model, but also in 2D. Reconstructor has the ability to extract orthophotos using the inspection layer or any kind of layer associated to a point cloud, and we can add the newest height spot map on this orthophoto. Set map view to look at the model from the orthographic top view. Then, to create an orthophoto, select the cut output in the toolbox bar and then the command create orthophoto. 
once named the orthophoto, you have to set the view that will be used to create the orthophoto. The tool offers several options, as you can see. Let's move on with the current view one. Press the Set Camera Dimensions option to change the view properties. You can change the dimensions, the depth of the view, in order to include or exclude some part of the data. You can move very easily and quickly the camera to better fit the data and you can choose the resolution of the orthophoto. Look now at the bottom part of the window. We can experience the new tool introduced in the Reconstructor 4.2 release, the depth creation. Flagging this option, we can add a very important information to the orthophoto, so we won't get only the colorization and the coordinates, but we will add also the information of the depth of the points, respect the reference plane. This new tool increases the productivity of your inspection analysis, adding the depth map, so values, to the ortho image. Click Snap and check the result in the viewer. As done before, we can take some measurements, linear and angular, we can calculate areas, but we can also add the new information, that is the point's depth. Depth can be added in two ways, on a single point, just picking the point on the orthophoto, or using the fine and regular points grid. For example, we can create a grid every 5 meters, we can then choose which points we want to include into this grid, for example the lowest or the highest one. Then click OK and here we go, the grid is ready to be placed in the position that we want. So we have created an inspection orthophoto with its related depth grid map and we can export the orthophoto as we have already seen before. And what about the depth grid map? Can I export the points of the grid? Of course you can. The grid can be exported both as a list of points and a point cloud and you can easily enter in CAD environment or wherever you might need.